Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Colleen and this is Our Blessed Life. And today I'm going to be tackling just a couple of things that are causing issues in my kitchen and my dining room. So I've got a cord issue that I want to deal with in the uh, dining room and then I've got some decluttering that I need to do in my kitchen just because I need to make a few cabinets work a little bit better for me. So that's what we're gonna be working on today. Let me go ahead and show you all the before. This little area right here is constantly a problem. So we have several things that need to plug in right here. And these cords, I try to like stuff them underneath the shelf, but it never really works well. We have this extra cord that needs to just go up, this white one. But we have our security camera, which just plugs in. So this is always sitting here. Um, then we also have, uh, like we need to have power to out here. Um, so we need kind of an extension there. We've got several different things plugged in. We also, this is my old computer, which we use this for Sophie's speech therapy and occupational therapy. So this is either sitting on the table or it's in this box and then plugs up here um, to charge. So that's there too. So I just need to figure out a better system of just making this not look like such a mess all the time. I just can't stand to see it. It's hard to vacuum. And the only real solution is just for me to come over here and just start shoving it underneath. And that's not really a solution. So this cabinet here is always a mess. There's no real organization to it. Um, I, I do have like our outdoor grilling things. I have some um, paper towels, napkins and stuff like that. Um, I've got some extra napkins in the garage. I need to try to get some of those in because my storage, my outdoor storage, I don't think it's gonna be good to keep paper products out there in this extreme humidity that we have here in Hilton Head. I mean, it's still cool now, but it won't be for long. So this cabinet needs some work. This cabinet needs work. Nobody but Gary can even reach this shelf. Um, we definitely need these plastic cups because we um, we eat outside, we'll eat outside with the pool. We need some cups that we can have around the pool, but this needs to be kind of decluttered and rearranged. Another cabinet that needs to be potentially rearranged I'm not sure on this one, but this is where I keep my pots and pans and also like um, casserole dishes, cake pans and things. I'm not sure if I might rearrange this one to make rooms for some other things or either put some other things in this one. I don't know. This is another very large cabinet. This one, I'm not sure if I can rearrange this at all, but um, this one has all of my big appliances and also some Ziploc bags and things like that. But basically trying to see if I can work with this cabinet, that first one that I showed you, and then possibly this one where I keep the majority of my pots and pans to see if I can make the kitchen work just a little bit better. The last one is this, and this one worked pretty well. I just keep all of my baking and like seasoning stuff in here. The only thing really with this one is I just need to get rid of some things that have probably expired. I have things up here that I really only had for Christmas baking. And so I just wanna go through and make sure that there's nothing up there that's expired and things like that and probably organize this a little bit. But I think for the most part, everything in here we need and we use. And we might also tackle this cabinet. This one is mostly Christmas stuff. Um, and I think for the most part, it's stuff that we use and we will keep, but I feel like this could be better organized because I also keep like our little lunch bags and things that we take like to the beach um, up there. And I'd like to be able to access that a little bit easier. So I just feel like some of these cabinets could possibly maybe things are in the wrong place. They could be organized a little bit better. I feel like that's a lot better. I just have a power strip back here behind these two boxes that we used for Katie's school. And then this computer stays here when it's not being used so it can charge there. And then we have the camera plugged in here for our security system. I was also able to plug in this three hole punch that we use for putting stuff into our portfolio. So I think 
this is going to work better because nothing is in the floor at this point and i think this is probably as good as i'm going to get it i hate that the computer has to have this cord but i don't really i can't really think of another way to deal with that but unless you're behind there it looks fairly neat you can't really see the cord sticking out on the floor so i have two extra extension cords here and i'm going to take this one and put it on the porch because we actually will run power out there so i think i'm just this is a more heavy duty one i'm just going to take this and plug it up outside and then whenever we need power we can just plug it in right behind there so i think that'll work say you think about me because i'm starting to doubt we will find a way back to each other when you're on the other side of the world I'm here and I'm waiting, but I know I can't say that we didn't end it for good reasons, still I'm hoping we'll be meeting soon. I'm moving on to the next cabinet and honestly this one bugs me the most because I feel like it's the most messy and the least functional. Okay, so the stuff that we had in this cabinet was, um, this is a uh, roasting rack that I really only use a few times a year. I use this whenever we make prime rib or, you know, turkey, things like that. Um, this is my turkey platter for Thanksgiving. This goes with my Pyrex dish and this just allows you to keep something either warm or cold. And then I have this um, electric knife, which pretty much goes with that. We have our grill stuff and a bunch of disposable stuff. And then we use these for s'mores. So really what I want to do under this cabinet, I wanna have outdoor things because it's the closest cabinet to um, our back deck. So I wanna have like our grill stuff under here and I wanna have our paper products and things that we might use outside under here as well as my overflow paper storage. Right, I still have to figure out where I'm going to put these things, but I feel like they don't really go in the cabinet that they were in. So I'm just going to keep on working and see where these can go. Time apart and I almost can't this cabinet's biggest issue was some dead space behind the mixer. And I was hoping that I could get some of those Ziploc bags put somewhere else and just get some things rearranged and use some of that dead space. But I want you close and I still I also realized that this white utensil caddy was in the wrong place. It had been in there with the mixer and the other small appliances, and it's something that we use when we eat outside all the time, so I wanted to relocate it. I also decided to relocate my ice bucket because that's also something we use when entertaining and a lot of times if we're entertaining and we do things outside, again we're using the paper products and it just kind of made sense for me to put it in this cabinet. And this gave me the space that I needed to go ahead and move my turkey platter and my roasting pan into the appliance cabinet. Now it was easy just to go ahead and make everything look a little bit more presentable in my pots and pans cabinet because I didn't need to make room for anything. Everything already had a home. 
Do you remember when I used to come over to your house every day? Still remember the smell of your car? Now I'm on to my cabinet where we keep glasses and cups and also coffee mugs like travel mugs. And what I want to do here is just rearrange the things so the, the ones that we use the most are a little bit easier to access and the ones that we don't use quite as much are at the very top. And it's pretty much the same story in this cabinet. I really just want to get my Christmas stuff pushed further to the back and make it where we can reach our lunch boxes and coolers that we'll be using this summer at the beach. And in this cabinet, there's a few things that are just a little bit out of place. I just want to kind of rearrange it. But I also need to check expiration dates. So that's what I'm doing primarily with the stuff at the top that's been in there a lot longer. And I'm just going to take out anything that's expired and go ahead and toss it. Remember the necklace you gave me, I wear it every day. And oh, it's been a long time since we were together. But there's a special place in my heart that's yours forever. If I could fly, fly right back to where I belong. Fly right back to my home sweet home. If I could, I'd take it all Okay, so this is all the stuff that was in the cabinet that's either empty or expired that I need to toss. Okay, I've still got a little bit of time and I think I wanna go ahead and address this tool situation over here. So I really do like keeping my tools in the house, but I feel like it's really unorganized right now and some of the stuff really barely fits in the drawer. So I think a long-term solution is probably going to be to get some sort of organizers um, in these drawers. But for now, um, I think I'm just gonna do the best that I can. I went ahead and took out my drill and it actually came in this case, but I really don't need this case because I'm, I don't want to keep this in the garage. I just, I use this frequently and really like to have it in the house. And these are all the bits and things that come with it and my stud finder and my small level. So I think I'm just going to try to find a way to um, organize these drawers a little bit better. Maybe get rid of anything we don't need and um, just try to clean this up some. Some of y'all are probably thinking, why does she want to keep her tools in her kitchen? <laughs> why is she making room for her tools in her kitchen? Well, the reason why is because things rust here um, in Hilton Head because of the salt and the air um, and everything. So we've had things rust in our garage. So I'd prefer to keep them in the house. In our other house, we had a really large laundry room and we had a good bit of storage. We had some cabinets and we had a closet in there. So I had plenty of room. And I really just don't have so much kitchen stuff. I mean, I have an extra, extra three drawers and one cabinet that I really don't use for kitchen stuff. So I might as well use them because I really don't have the storage space like in my laundry room or anywhere else. So the top drawer was very easy to straighten. It was mostly just removing trash and things that don't belong. You've been down this road for far too long. He left your love behind. But still you keep on crawling back Despite the pain inside Cause all that I want is for you to be happy So I'm trying to straighten out this hardware. I've had this stuff for so long. I'm getting rid of some random stuff, but usually if I build something, I'll just keep some of the hardware because it, it comes in handy later but I feel like I have kept too much over the years, so I'm getting rid of some of it. Um, but I like to keep these like wall anchors and um, you know, these wire nuts and things like that because you just never know when you're gonna need them. Your tears they say a thousand words. I've heard them all before. The ones who love the most, my dear, are the ones left hurting more. All right, so these are all the things I'm most likely to use, and I've got them sorted by type. This is the junk that I'm removing out of here that I'm not likely to use. So I'm gonna continue on with the drawers now.
Okay, so I feel like I've got this about as well as I can do. So I've got like kind of small tools, things that I use very frequently. This drawer I think is now okay as well. I have large batteries, um, a bunch of locks that we've used in the past. I don't really want to get rid of them because we always need them at some point and then we have to buy them again. Then my drill and my charger for the battery. And then all of the hardware that you just saw me organize as well as the small level goes in here. And I'm just going to get rid of the bag because I really don't need it. And for now, I think I'm going to leave the last drawer alone. I have my uh, toolbox in here. But I really don't need a toolbox. What I probably need is some sort of drawer organizer. I'd probably prefer to take the tools actually out of here and organize them in a way where I could get to them easily because getting to that toolbox is a little bit hard. And the rest of the stuff in here is painting stuff that I use um, and caulks and things like that, wood fillers and drywall, putty, things that I don't want to dry up in the garage. So for now, I'm going to leave this like this, but my long-term plan is to do something other than a toolbox because I really never just carry a toolbox around. And now I'm just going to wipe down all the counters. Friends, we'd love to pray for you. If we can pray for you, let us know in the comments below. Alright, so in the end, this was all the stuff that is going. Um, these... Right here, the bag, that little thing, um, this drawer divider, which I don't need anymore. Those are actually being donated. This is my mother-in-law's, but it is broken. I don't know if she wants it back, but we're going to see her this weekend, so I'm going to ask her. And then these two extension cords are going to be relocated to the garage. So I do feel like I have solved a lot of problems in my kitchen as far as storage and organization. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye!